This is a totoaba. It's actually sort of a small totoaba. They're typically the size of, a, of an NFL linebacker. I mean, they're a big fish and they get caught in big nets. And those are the worst kind of nets for vaquitas because their head, heads fit right inside of them. And if you go in the back of the room, there's a, a one that, uh, one of the paintings has a panda in it. Um, and it talks about, in, uh, in, in a way you can see them, all of them there, the relationship between China and Mexico is a very strong one. And China had a fish called a bahaba. And the bahaba does exactly the same thing that the totoaba does. It grows great big, and then it comes into rivers and shallow waters to spawn. And so it's, even though it's a marine fish, it's very vulnerable during that part of its life history. And there was a, a a market developed in China for the swim bladder, which regulates the buoyancy of the fish. Because they're such a big fish, the swim bladder is, is, a, is a big thing. And you can see these swim bladders uh, down below here. And there was a huge market for these um, in the 1960s and 1970s, so much so that the totoaba was the first fish ever to be listed on the Convention for the International Trade of Endangered Species. And both totoaba and vaquita that were caught accidentally in totoaba nets went on to the Mexican marine mammals list together. But for many years, we didn't think about totoaba because basically they were commercially extinct. The, the juveniles were still living in the central uh, gulf, but there were no adults to come up, or very few. So there were, they would always catch a few adults. So there was always this low level trade with China, it never went away. But starting in the early 2000s, um, we started hearing rumors from the fishermen that there were lots of big totoabas coming back. And in 2012, it just took off. And of course, because all of that made in China stuff means that there's a lot more money in China, these swim bladders to the fishermen are worth five to eight thousand dollars for one swim bladder from a fish. So all of a sudden they turned into the cocaine of the sea um, and they, they bring tens of thousands of dollars in China. So this just was a, a huge boom in this illegal uh, wildlife trade to, to China um, that was driving the collapse of the Kita.